Artist Arben Teodosi has his studio in this courtyard. It's small and dark, but he says it's all he can afford. Rents are high in the Albanian capital, Tirana. Yet his father was once a high-ranking member of the Communist Party and a member of the Politburo. But in 1975, Albanian dictator Enver Hoxha had him arrested and executed him two years later. No one knows what happened to his body. Teodosi, who also goes by the name Ben, was 22 years old at the time and was studying painting. He was incarcerated for 15 years, spending most of that time doing forced labor in a mine. It gave me a lot of opportunity to think about the Albanian saying, mankind's greatest enemy is not hunger or disease, but mankind itself. Still, the artist isn't bitter. Painting has helped him overcome the dark years of Albania's repressive communist past. I keep asking myself, was this dictatorship madness or a system? We'll have to uncover that piece by piece. But I don't harbor any resentment. My mother and father were both part of that system. My own family. And they were devoured by it. Whom should I denounce for that? Why should I hold others responsible? Why shouldn't I look to myself for answers? I think it's quite difficult. The file on his family is missing and is likely in the archives of the Sigurimi, Albania's former secret police. All Teodosi has left of his father are a few old photos. But now that the Albanian parliament has voted to open up the Sigurimi files, he's hoping to find some answers after waiting 25 years. Still, critics say that Albania needs to do more to really deal with its past. Former members of the secret police and communist officials still hold high-ranking posts. Even 20 years on, we still have people from the old regime, the politicians charged with opening up the files of the same mentality. The morality is the same today as it was back then. There's no difference. It's estimated that one in five Albanians collaborated with the secret police during the communist era. Many went on to hold plum posts in the new Albania. The mistrust created divides even families. Shouldn't we just look to the future? In the past, you only find problems and old wounds. Don't open them up. It won't do anything for Albania. Oh, yes, it will. It'll advance things. Half the files are gone anyway. We're talking about poor old folks who already have one foot in the grave. But historian Navila Nika says that even if many of the files have been destroyed, people have a right to discover the truth. She ran the Albanian State Archive for years. In a country that suffered so much, it was really quite difficult. I, too, would have preferred that the law had come into effect much earlier, but better late than never. The Sigurimi casts a long shadow to this day. Albania's secret police worked in the building called the House of Leaves since it was covered in vines. Now it's falling apart. Some want to make it into a memorial. Teodosi thinks that's crazy. For us, that building was a vile place. I don't want to go anywhere near it. But he does want to find out what really happened to his father, to shed some light on the darkest chapter of his life. <laughs>